Teaching children about money early in life can help them learn smart financial decisions that will last a lifetime. Joining us this morning on The Blend is Chief Marketing Officer of the MSU Federal Credit Union, Deidre Davis, to provide information on how we can help children learn the value of sharing, spending, and saving money. Deidre, good to see you again. What is one example of how to start talking to children about the value of money management? Well, you um, said it right there is um, there's a great activity where you take three jars or boxes, any kind of containers that you have, and label those for sharing, saving, and spending. So, of course, sharing would be funds that would be donated to a local charitable organization. Saving would be those funds that each... Um, maybe a month or so, would be deposited into the financial institution so that they can earn interest and therefore they're geared for long-term savings goals. And then the spending is, of course, something that the youth child could use to buy something of their own desire, whatever it is that they're looking for. What about some other lessons, Deidre, such as one that I continually learn about want versus need? Yes, that's such an important concept and one that we could all probably do a little bit better with. So um, a nice way to help teach that is to have your child involved with your grocery budget. And so whether you're online shopping or going to the grocery store, this is a great time to um, help children learn that. And so make your list and with your child's help. So talk about the meals that you're going to be having and the different ingredients that will be needed. And then as you're scrolling through the different items, you know, maybe something like um, uh, popsicles or a candy bar catches the child's eye and talk to them about, you know, is that really something that we need if we only have X amount of dollars? And so to, again, reinforce that, you can share the budget amount with your child. So say it's $100, and then as they put various items into their online cart or in the cart in the grocery store, then you're able to subtract those amounts and they'll easily see, oh, maybe that candy bar or those popsicles aren't a great idea, or maybe one of them is, but maybe not all of them. Real quick, are there any other hands-on exercises for kids in the last 30 seconds we have? Yeah, so um, right now is a great time to teach children about e-deposit. And so kids love technology, and that's where you take your phone or mobile device and take a picture of your check and immediately deposit those funds. So teaching that, how to use the ATM, and even how to pay bills online are great things to do nowadays. And you have a lot of accounts, especially designed for children. So we'll put your information on the screen, Deidre. Thanks so much for joining us. Good information that... Uh, I wish I would have learned a little bit earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Me too.